Hi, I'm Tom Petrie from Cantito Road. Today we're going to talk about the new Connex chains from Whipperman. As you may know, Connex chains are famous for their long wear and for their high braking load. Like many German companies, Connex is fastidious, almost obsessive about the quality of materials and precision manufacturing. That's why the chains last as long as they do. As chains wear, they get longer. People commonly refer to this as stretching, but it doesn't really stretch. What happens is the chain gets longer because the bearing parts inside the chain, which is to say the pin and the inner link, wear against each other, and as they wear, the chain length grows. To understand how it works, you really need to know how chains are assembled and where the bearing parts are. A chain link consists of an inner link and an outer link. The link is composed of eight pieces, two inner plates, two rollers, two outer plates, and two pins. When they're assembled, they form this part of the chain right there, the inner link and the outer link. The rollers can move freely on the collars of the inner link. So the inner link goes together like that and like that, and then the other side of the inner link goes on top of them and it forms that assembly right there. You see that this roller can move on the collars. The inner link is captured by an outer plate on one side and an outer plate on the other side and then a pin is riveted to the outer plate and that's what holds the whole thing together. The result is a structure like this where the inner link moves on a fixed pin that is riveted to the outer link. The Connex pins are highly polished. They're polished to within one micrometer where typical OEM chains are only polished to within four or five micrometers. The pins are then boron hardened. As a result, you have a very smooth, very hard pin that's rotating within that inner plate collar. Because the pin is so smooth and because the radius of the inner plate is so constant, you don't have any high spots. If you have high spots on the pin or high spots on the inner link, you're going to get wear. Because Connex has done away with that by virtue of some extra work in polishing the pins and precision manufacturing, the chains don't wear as quickly. The best Connex chains employ a stainless steel inner link. Stainless steel wears longer than conventional steel. The combination of a stainless steel inner link a highly polished hardened pin and a very constant interior radius on the collar means you don't get the wear that you would otherwise get and Connex chains are the longest wearing chains on the market. The new Connex chains are considerably different from the previous edition. The first thing that you'll notice is the sculpted shape of the chain as compared to the more blocky shape of the previous editions. That will save about 20 grams a chain. Another very important difference with the new Connex chains is the extensive chamfering that's been done to the outer plates. This makes them perfectly compatible with every other drive system on the market. In addition to chamfering there, we also have chamfering on the interior surface to make for faster and quieter shifting. Another feature of the new Connex chain is radial riveting. Radial riveting distributes the force of the rivet more evenly across the entire circumference of the rivet and outer plate connection. This ensures longer life and a stronger joint. The other thing Connex is famous for is the Connex link. The Connex link allows you to take your chain apart and put it back together again as often as you'd like, so that makes cleaning the breeze 
taking the chain off and putting it in your car and moving the bike around without getting things dirty, a breeze. You can use this as often as you like. And I've been told you can use it on other chains as well. To work it, you want to orient the chain so that the link is perpendicular to the two chains or the two sections. Then you pull it together, take it apart. To put it together, again, the link needs to be perpendicular. You put it together. and you take it apart. Excuse me for a second. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Can I call you back? Oh, all right, relax, relax. I'm just take a second. Tell me what the problem is. On stage 10, the one into, uh, say, Martin. Yeah, well, you won that stage. It was ticking. It was ticking in the 12. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's really easy. You have the Connex link in backwards. All you have to do is turn it around, and that ticking will go away. I guarantee it. Yeah, really. All you have to do is flip that link, and you'll get rid of the ticking. I promise you that's what the problem is. Listen, i got to go. Let me call you back. All right, I'll see you then. Connex link. That brings up another issue. It's possible to put this connex link in backwards. The connex link is not symmetric. It'll work if you install it backwards, but if you do, it'll tick when you're in your smallest cog. You want the side with the more constant radius to be the side that's riding against your chain ring and your cogs. The other side has got this little divot and a little extra material there to compensate for the hole in the chain for the connex link. As a result, if in your 11 or your 12 tooth cog, it'll lift a little bit on that little bump there, and that's what will cause the ticking that Chris had, or that you'll have if you put it in backwards. It's real easy, though. Just flip the link, make sure that this is the radius that's going against the cogs, and you're good to go. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. You can buy the new Connex chains from us or through any one of a number of distributors throughout the United States. Give us a call if you've got any questions. We're happy to help you. Thanks again.